Catania is a nice town to visit. Walking through the central streets, you don't have the idea of being in a metropolis, but rather in a characteristic place. Catania is the right combination of a historical and modern city for the tourist. But what are the best things to do in Hania and to visit? The place where you can start your visit is the Old Venetian port. The Old Venetian port of Hania is a must for anyone in this area of Crete. This port has a long history as the Venetian built it between 1320 and 1356 and then expanded it in the 16th century. Hania did not always remain under Venetian domination as in 1645 it was conquered by the Ottomans. This Ottoman influence is also clearly visible in the old Venetian port due to the presence of the Hassan Mosque, today a clear symbol of this domination. The mosque is no longer used for its original purpose. The former mosque is now an exhibition hall. The port has a semicircular shape and here you can find hotels, shops and restaurants. The restaurants at the Old Venetian port are suitable both for a light and delicious lunch, maybe eating a Cretan salad while you enjoy the view. And for dinner in a Cretan atmosphere. In the evening, the lights of the buildings along the port reflect on the sea. This is a beautiful sight to see. In the area of the Old Venetian port, there is also the Maritime Museum of Crete. The Maritime Museum of Crete was established in 1973 to house and showcase Greek and Cretan maritime traditions. The Maritime Museum of Crete is located at the entrance of the Firkas Fortress, which the Venetian built to house their prison. The Venetians used this fortress for a period from 1204 to 1645. Subsequently, the Ottomans used it for the same purpose from 1645 to 1898. The Ottomans established their division command here. The Firkas Fortress includes the oldest 
Genoese Tower. The fortress includes buildings used as barracks and weapons depots, while also serving as the base of the city's military commander. Following the Ottoman occupation, the fortress, which still remains its Turkish name, Firkas, or Barracks, was used as a military command base, barracks, and later as a prison. The 1st December 1913, the flag of Union of Crete with Greece was symbolically hung over the small watchtower. In front of us, we have the lighthouse of the old Venetian port. You can reach the lighthouse on foot with a long walk on the pier. The walk is pleasant, but especially in summer, it is better to plan to do it in the early morning or the evening, when the heat is not too intense. In fact, it is almost entirely in the sun during the day. A place of particular interest at the old Venetian port is the Great Arsenal. <laughs> Today this place hosts exhibitions and events. Being the exhibitions inside the Great Arsenal is a good idea, especially on the hot summer days when you need a break. It's interesting to visit both from an architectural point of view and for the exhibitions it hosts. Once you have visited and walked along the old Venetian port of Cania, you can better explore the historic center of this town. Mm -hmm. 
you'll discover different historical or highly characteristic places to photograph. Among the other things you can do in Hanya, there are different boat tours. One of these is the Sunset Boat Tour, to see the sunset in front of Lazaretta Island. Coming back from the tour, you can also see the beautiful Hanya by night from the boat. In the meantime, I greet you. See you in the next video. Bye.